Yo, I'm listening to some old Little Walter playlists. I'm listening to a tune by John Brim with Little Walter on the harmonica recorded in 1953 called Rattlesnake. This is some fantastic stuff, man. I'm going to play the 12 bars. <laughs> of Little Walter's accompaniment style. He's playing all sorts of licks behind the guitar and vocals. He's playing an A harmonica in second position. Let's just start with that opening lick. Start on the five draw. Now he's playing very lightly. Absolutely relying completely on technique, moving across the harmonica, not playing with air pressure at all. His amp is turned up to the max and he's just whispering into the harmonica. On the five draw, with a little bit of two draw coming in over here. And then he jumps to the four draw bent. Four draw bent to the three draw bent to half step. Back to the four draw bent. Back to the three draw bent to half step. That's a little tricky. Then he jumps back to the four and he kind of goes up and down and then to the two draw. Slides down to the two draw. If you can in your slide, bend the three draw a half step. Next phrase. Alright, so that's the two draw bent, and he's scooping it into the two draw. So this is where you really got to play with no air pressure. It's all about your, your embouchure. You know, scooping it up and down. If you're playing with too much air pressure, you will run out of air very quickly doing that. Next lick. That's fancy, man. So spy draw. Similar to the first lick, it's the four chord sort of, so he varies it. A little more four below, a little more three drop at the half step. Two drop at the whole step. Five, four, one all together. Alright, so we got. Three draw bent to half step, leading into the five chord. When the beat, the band hits beat one on the five chord, he bends the three draw a whole step. So we got. He's got this outro. It's just shaking. Very little Walter style, man. That is of. My favorite stuff, man. It's right around my favorite era of his, the early to mid-50s, 1953. The, the, the recording date actually says 3, which would be March, and then question mark 53, so they don't even know what day it was recorded. You know I talk about Little Walter a lot, man. I can't help it. It's a sickness. Call it what you will. He's a very significant player in, in blues harmonica, man, but, you know, there are other players. I was actually on, on a serious Walter Horton kick for close to a year where I was just listening to him nonstop, but... Since I've been posting my stuff out there and making these videos, I've found people's interest in Little Walter is just so huge. I've just been so immersed in him again. Never complaining about that though, man. You know, I can't get enough of him. I have all of his recordings, I think, but I encourage you to, to search tunes that may not have been released under Little Walter's name, but still have Little Walter. John Brim has a few. You know, even, even stuff from Jimmy Rogers, Muddy Waters. Don't just stick with the titles that have Little Walter on them. He played on so many, so many recordings.